hello everyone uh, welcome again and this is the second part for that video login and log out and uh, uh, I'm going to show you the activities which we will we have done in the last videos we just created that home JSP and login JSP and logout JSP and welcome user.jsp and the application will will work like uh, I'm going to run it on my page so home inside my original browser home.jsp okay so we are going we will uh, we are check this uh, by the uh, manually uh, passing a string or username password and uh, but this time we are going to continue the tutorial and uh, and uh, we will connect this by database so how to connect this uh, application by database we don't need to change anything very special like uh, we just need to change in my sublet file so this data we are providing uh, manually we are passing manually so th th this data will come from the database first uh, uh, this request that uh, string will goes in database and check this uh, username or a password is available or not in the database is uh, username is available in the database it will return the name and uh, it will say yes this uh, username is available you can redirect it on welcome.jsp and if a database says no this name and you this password is not available in my database in the database then it will show the wrong username and password it's simple so between this I need to pass a database connection and all the things before this I, uh, I need to create a database so <coughs> for creating database I'm using the MySQL and uh, MySQL workbench for this uh, for this i write a complete post for this tutorial you can also i will i will, I will provide the link in the description box and you can easily get the code here so for creating a database i just need to copy this code or um, inside your database and you can also create it will create a user register table for you and um, here i am also using that mydb the database name first you need to create the database and then you just write a SQL query here or you can create by graphically manually here also from this task from this uh, button so I'm going to run it so it will creating table for me yeah it's successfully executed and the finally table is created by, by for me that user register so there will be I think uh, two or three field three field and uh, select a streak from the table name is user underscore rg and uh, you can see yeah there is a three field username password and email first i'm going to insert some dummy data in this table insert into <coughs> user rg and uh, the values will be the first is a name is like we can write a john and uh, password will be john and email will be john at the rate gmail.com gmail oh this is my value and i need to pass before this the column indexes it's a column name so the column name is you name and you pass and the third column is you email it means user email and between these i need to pass the values text okay everything is fine now no i don't want to save it just click on execute the query and finally the data is inserted and you can see the data now there is a data inside this table so we will check the validations we will confirm that john uh, that john name uh, the username of john is available or not so first i need to connect this database with my application so for every time i need to create a database connection you can create a separate class and call that connection but uh, for dummy purpose uh, i'm going to use here only so for uh, first step i need to register a driver so class.phone name inside that class.phone name com dot 
mysql dot jdbc dot driver it's my driver name for mysql and i need to surround this inside the try case block and second thing i need to create a connection here so connection cone equals to driver manager dot get connection and i need to pass three url here the first three parameter here the first parameter will be url of my database and second will be uh, username of my database and third will be my password for my database so my database password is root and username also root and i need a url for my database mm. so it's very difficult to remember every time so i'm going to just copy this from here okay it's a jdbc column mysql slash slash something so my db is my finally database name and this is the link which is this is the url of database and inside this url this is a folder it means this is a database this is the username of database and password of username and uh, it's a depend on the database if you are using mysql it will be same for you if you are using other oracle and other database it will be different it's depend on the database so finally I create a connection and I need to a statement here statement st mt and con dot create a statement create a statement and uh, I need to import that statement package from a statement class uh, from uh, java dot sql package and uh, now I need to finally write the query on a statement, a statement dot execute query. This time we are going to fetch, we are going to retrieve the data from database. So we are not going to use that execute update. We are going to use that execute query only. So query will be like select, uh, select name and sorry, uh, I need uh, two things from the database table, <coughs> uname and upass okay so we are going to pass a query select the uname and uh, u pass from here i need to write the table name so my table name is user underscore reg i think the table name is user underscore reg okay so user underscore right where now i need to check i need to check the conditions this is available or not in the database where u name is equals to i need to pass this this name for here so it will check it will available or not name and the other thing is pass so before this I need to pass end and you pass you pass equals to pass okay. and I need to hold this value in result set Result set R is equal to this, and I need to import the result set also from the Java.sql package. And finally, I'm going to perform that operation here. If this operation I'm going to perform here only, if I need to one line here rs dot next rs dot next rs dot next if uh, returning the true value it means there is a one entry is available for, with this uh, name and password so it will redirect it if this condition is true if uh, this username and password is not found in the database it will return false then this if a statement will not execute it if only else a statement will execute it if only one entry or one more uh, uh, more than one entry is found in the database so this result set will be written true 
and uh, it will create session and redirect on the user to DSP. So I think everything is fine now. It's just connected with the database. So now we can use with uh, the entries is called uh, uh, the entries is called uh, <coughs> database. So I'm going to run it again when user click on this login and uh, pass the name John and password is also I think John when user click on submit then something is going wrong here and you can see the error message here the error message is like com.mysqlgduc driver is not found so i need to write that uh, i need to copy or paste that java j connector library file so i have already if you don't have that j connector file so you could download from google or something so it's a mysql connector and uh, i'm using the 5.145 version so you need to copy that file and uh, just just paste inside this library folder and uh, the other way to import this just go on a property and uh, click on your java build path and go on library and from here add as external jar so here also you can add this file and uh, now we are going to test it again so i'm going to run this file again yeah i need to restart the server so sometime when it's not work you need to restart the server because we updated some uh, servlet files so it will create it in sounds again and it's need to initialize the variables again so if we are going to here we just need to pass JSP still server is taking time to start so it's also loaded oh there is an error okay and now server is working fine and we are going to test the application so when I click on home, this home page is inserted and the, him, the home page is occur and when I click on login and we are going to any other password ID, it will show me a message like wrong username and password and uh, when if we see the in my database table there is a username John and password John. So if we are going to pass that John and John, so John and uh, other is also John. I'm going to submit then welcome and uh, welcome your login successfully when user click on write so you can see like this and uh, one more thing we can pass this uh, john inside that uh, your welcome.jsp also so how to do that just uh, some need to some changes here after this you need to write a test inquiry and it will be like uh, you write a query here uh, with this name and we need to get that on welcome.jsp so before this i'm going to get some test here let's get let's do it login okay so if you want to send the data now uh, with this uh, uh, with this link uh, from this so you can pass here just you need to write a question mark here and uh, it's not let's write a question mark and name and inside this name you need to pass a string Let 
this question mark and this I'm going to copy I'm not confirm that syntax uh, about that syntax so yeah it will be just question mark and uh, you need to pass this I was not confirmed about the syntax so I just copied the code from there and uh, and it's not copying properly so question mark and then name so just question mark and the name of a string which you are going to fetch in the next uh, and equals to and you need to pass a simple string here so for passing the string you need to write the code inside this code and uh, this name I want to pass so you can see name. Yeah, I think everything is done now so inside that uh, login welcome user I need to get request for this so a string name of that user equals to oh, sorry. request dot mm, okay I need to write this code inside this uh, scriptlet to tag so when I write this and inscribe that scriptlet tag and now it will suggest me request dot get parameter method get parameter date and method inside this I need to pass that name this name i need to pass here which we are using to which we are uh, passing from there after this uh, welcome.user.jsp and we this is called that user uh, string query so we just pass a string a string query with a variable name name so we are going to catch it in the welcome dot this welcome user sp file and simply going to print ln and messenger welcome and plus name so it will display the message welcome join so when user click on login and it's going to join and join will be the right username password and it will display the message welcome join so you by this query string you can pass that name so you can see here with the uh, question mark name and zone is going to there in the next page so thank you so, thank you so much for watching if you like please subscribe the channel and for more video and for more tutorial related to java and the complete code for both videos previous video and this activity we will provide in the description box so you can easily get from there and um, thank you